can I just say it is another cold? So, y'all better like this video, comment, subscribe, and go check out my other videos. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is London Lindamini, but this channel is called Gemini Baby. If you're new, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so glad you found us. Go ahead and like this video, comment and subscribe and go check out my other videos and leave a like, leave a comment and share to your family and friends. But if you're a returning OG, thank you for constantly supporting me and I really, really, really do appreciate you guys. So as you guys have seen from the title of the video, it is wash day now if you know me you will know i hate wash days but we have to do what we have to do okay so if you want to see what i use during my wash day how i do my wash days and how long it lasts make sure to stay tuned and go ahead and like this video comment subscribe and let's just stop wasting time and get right to this video. okay so the first step of my wash day is to pre-poo now I prepare a mixture of two eggs, two essential oils. In this case, I use coconut oil and sweet almond oil. What I do is I will preheat the oils of mine uh, for 30 seconds to a minute in my microwave, as you guys can see. And then I will break two eggs and then just beat it up and just mix the whole thing. So I put two spoons of the of each of the oils and then just mix it in a container an old one i think i had a deep conditioner in this container i'm not really sure but you just make sure to mix that and just you know yeah so the egg provides proteins and then the oils will provide a coating to your hair when you apply this mixture to your hair so what people is it's a um it's kind of like a abbreviation of pre-shampoo so it's basically the process of applying a treatment to your hair before the actual shampooing process so why i do this i do this to you know coat my hair so that when i do use the shampoo and you know wash the dirt off my hair i'm not stripping my hair because my my hair is really high porosity hair and it's really really thin so when i wash my hair with shampoo i want to make sure i'm not stripping my hair so the egg is to help replenish my hair with proteins because my hair is hyper so hair it really needs a lot of proteins so i put that egg there to make sure you know i give my hair some proteins and whatever so the shampoos usually that we use have a lot of stripping ingredients so pre-shampoo basically helps to you know kind of make the stripping not so bad i guess because the pre-shampoo thingy just coats your hair i mean the pre-poo okay so you're gonna want to section up your hair into four parts that's what i do i know it kind of looks you know nasty and disturbing but it's good for your hair okay so you just want to like work it in now i have seen that pre-pooing actually helps me detangle prior to shampooing so it actually makes shampooing and conditioning my hair more easy so you guys will see me using a bristle brush or a bristle comb to kind of like detangle it really really turns out really nice you guys will see the part i, I like kind of like zoom in it for you zoom it in gosh <laughs> for you so yeah i know it looks nasty but it's good for your hair so yeah hey, yo. Do you guys see how detangled my hair is? This is magic, guys. I'm telling you, it really works. You guys should try it out. So then I'll go ahead and put my hair in a twist to make it easier to condition and shampoo in the shower. I will not be washing my hair in my room because, well, my room is already a mess, so yeah. So 
so at this point i just quit with the towel because really it wasn't working um yeah it really looked nasty yeah, so i'm really sorry so most of y'all are probably thinking okay Laura, well, how many times do you people do people every time you wash or so i poo poo every wash day why because my hair is high porosity hair it needs the moisture it needs the replenishing of proteins in my hair so i have to do it but if you're like if you have low porosity to medium porosity hair i don't think you have to do this every time so you can just maybe do it once every three wash days but i do it every time so yeah so it's kind of weird watch myself speak so yeah so what you're gonna follow up with right now is to cover your head with a plastic or a shower cap now this is done to um, retain the moisture inside your hair we're not trying to lose the moisture we just put on our hair so uh, typically I pre poo like overnight but this time I just forgot straight up so I leave this on for three hours but you can preferably leave it on for a shorter time but the longer you leave this a mixture on the more effective the people will be so i'd advise you leave it a bit longer but if you're lazy then you can leave it like maybe for an hour okay so i'll see you guys in my bathroom when i'm washing this off and continue with the process so can i just say it is mother cold so I cannot believe I'm doing this for you guys. Usually I wash my hair like once in winter, but this is my second time washing my hair. So, y'all better like this video, comment, subscribe, and go check out my other video. So, after leaving on the plastic or shower cap or whatever you have when you have your wash day, I'm gonna remove it and then wash off the mixture of my hair. I will be washing my hair with um, cold, I mean, hot water. Um, to kind of like open up my hair follicles, my scalp, so that every product I will be applying today kind of like gets in there and does what it has to do or give to my hair. So, yeah. So the next step to my wash day is to use a shampoo. So in this video, I will be using aloe vera marula oil by Afro Botanics. Now I specifically chose the shampoo because it has ingredients that are nourishing to the hair. It has proteins in it. So off the bat, you can already see that there are nourishing or moisturizing ingredients in it, which are aloe vera and marula oil. So when you go back to the or look at the back of the product you can see that there are ingredients such as aqua which is water you have marula oil you have shea butter which is a really really moisturizing ingredient you have castor oil and for my proteins which are really really good for my high porosity hair you have vitamin e you have keratin and the other ingredients i cannot read so again the shampoo is sulfate free and paraben free so um i as you can see i am applying the shampoo directly to my scalp i'm not applying it to my hair because the dirt that i really really want to remove is on my scalp so i apply it directly to my scalp and then i just rub my scalp and you know just to get, kind of get rid of the dirt So most of y'all wondering, okay, Laura, if you don't use a shampoo every time, then what do you use in your other wash days? So what I use in my other wash days is a co-wash, specifically by Native Child. So what a co-wash is, I will explain what a co-wash is in depth in another video, which will be like a different um, wash day from this one. 
so basically with the co-wash i don't not i do not shampoo my hair because shampooing really strips my hair it's high porosity and it's thin so i try to avoid shampoo as much as i possibly can but if you have low and medium porosity hair i wouldn't um avoid a shampoo i would advise that you use the co-wash with the shampoo so basically the shampoo i mean the co-wash is basically a substitute kind of for a shampoo if you feel like you don't want to strip your hair like i feel like so yeah shortly that's what a co-wash is i will explain it in another video and if you want to know it right now then i advise you go ahead and do your research so yeah So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off that product with hot water to kind of like open my um, hair follicles, my scalp, so that the protein treatment I'm about to apply to my hair really gets in there and like does the job it's supposed to do which is to replenish my hair of its proteins and natural hair oils so yeah. If you're still watching please comment down below when you actually take a bath is it before the wash day or after you're done with your wash day comment down below I really want to know because I take a bath after my wash day so yeah so I sincerely apologize for my screen getting you know foggy but next up is we're gonna be applying my coconut oil deep conditioning protein pack from Palmer's so you do not use this every wash day you do not because you're gonna cause protein overload on your hair which is gonna wear down your hair and it won't give you that puff you want you know what i mean so what i'm basically using it for is to just replenish my hair of the proteins they need like i said my hair is high porosity hair so it needs a lot of proteins so what i'm gonna do is apply the protein pack or treatment sorry <laughs> in two sections so in this video i don't know what was going through my head but usually when i'm applying a protein pack or like any treatment i section my hair into at least six sections but in this video i just applied it in four sections but towards the end of the video or towards the end of the application you will see i will cut down the sections into smaller parts you should i would advise you to make those sections um smaller to kind of like make it easy for you to detangle your hair to make the distribution of the product more even and to make sure every strand of your hair is actually getting the product and benefiting from it so do not do what i'm doing in this video <laughs> make your section smaller and it'll really really help um making the product more effective for your hair so yeah okay guys so i specifically chose this um protein treatment because it is packed with protein so i was really happy about that so off the bat um from the back of the ingredients there is car hydrolyzed keratin which is really good because it really really dissolves in your hair and like you know gives your hair the protein that it needs it also has moisturizing ingredients such as aqua which is water it has um your coconut oil which is a very very um moisturizing ingredient again i really do advise you guys to like look at the ingredients that you buy don't just pick up a product and do not know what is in it um you should really know what your hair likes what it doesn't and you should really to help you um figure this out you need to know the porosity of your hair so i'm not saying use my video to go and buy everything i'm using i'm so 
you guys will see me wetting my hair in some instances yes i'm doing this to make my hair wet it kind of gets dry really quickly it's high porosity so i need to apply the product when my hair is damp so that's why you guys occasionally see me dampening my hair Surprisingly, there's product left in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make these sections smaller because I feel like I didn't apply as much as I wanted to get in there. So I'll just apply a section, to cut the section to like two more sections to kind of like make the distribution of the product even. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Cut the sections into two to kind of like, you know, add some more because I feel like there's a lot left yeah so yeah and another a uh, tip so if you have my hair type i suggest you have a water bottle to constantly wet your hair because it gets really dry and it makes detangling your hair pretty hard so if you're not close to the shower like i am just carry a water bottle and just spray before you apply the the product So I've already detangled my hair, that's why it's kind of easy for me to run my fingers through my hair or rake my fingers in the hair. So I'll just detangle again because why not? So there's an impressive amount of product left in here, so I'm just going to keep that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to cover my head with a plastic bag and leave it on for 30 minutes. The product says leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes, but let's just go the extra mile and go and add a little 10 minutes in there to kind of like make sure everything just gets in there. So let me just do that. So what I'm going to do after putting the plastic bag on my head, I'm going to take a really hot um, towel and just wrap it around my head. Now I'm not going to do this on camera because my towel is not with me right now and I still have to boil some water. Maybe I'll take footage of the towel on my head, I don't know, but like you're going to have to do that to kind of like make it a, a hot treatment if you get what I mean because it's high porosity hair so I really want to just open my hair follicles to get to allow the product to like get in my hair so you're gonna just wrap a, a towel that has been dipped in hot water and just wrap it around my, your head and i'm gonna wash my hair I'm, i'll have to wash my hair with cold water after this after 30 minutes i'm gonna wash my hair i'm shaking it's cold <laughs> i'm gonna wash my hair with cold water water whatever you want to call it off camera because i don't want cold water in my body so yeah um, so this means I'm gonna see you when I'm applying my leave-in oils. I'm not gonna use leave-in conditioner today because there's so much protein on my hair so I don't wanna do a protein overload. So what I'm gonna do is just apply a, a leave-in oils. I'm gonna apply olive oil and coconut oil on my hair and then just let it air dry and yeah that'll be the end of wash day so i'm just gonna see when i'm applying my leave-in oil so again you want to go um heat your preheat your oils before you apply them so five minutes before or two minutes before you apply them make sure they're preheated and yeah 30 minutes 30 minutes 30 minutes So it's been 30 minutes. I am gonna wash this off with cold water. That's important. Cold water. And then I'm gonna apply my oil leave-in mixture, which is a mixture of coconut oil and oh, olive oil. So yeah. <laughs> Say editing this video is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, but you know, we move. 
so you want to make sure you use cold water because we want to make sure to close in those pores that have all those products and your hair follicles you want to like trap the moisture with the cold water that is why we are using cold water so yeah it's pretty cold but you know i do crazy things for you guys so like this video comment and subscribe <laughs>